Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. I have a question from Angela. Uh, my ex and I have been divorced for five years and he recently remarried. My two kids are 17 and 19. They get along with their new stepmom, but they told me they do not want me to be in a relationship. I'm 42 and would like to meet a great guy, but I feel guilty because of my kids. What should I do? Well, this is a double standard, absolutely. And sometimes kids put a lot of expectations on their mom. And part of the reason for that is moms are the nurturers by just biologically, because we've got the womb, we've got all the, the female body parts that go with you know, bringing a child into this world. So sometimes the expectations are way over the top for what a mom is supposed to do. And this isn't fair. I really think that in this case, the dad should be involved and, and have a chat with the kids because mom sh deserves to be happy. She's 42 years old, like, come on. Angela, you need to wake up and say to your kids, I deserve to have love in my life. Your dad is lucky and has found it again, and I'm happy for him, but I also want happiness in my life. You have to have a sit down with these two kids. It's not right that they're dictating how your f future should unfold. Why do they get a say in, in your what's gonna happen for you with your romance and, and having a, a future partnership? You've told them that you want to date and you want to be in a relationship. The divorce was five years ago. It's not like it was two months ago and they're adjusting. Unfortunately, when you do did start to break up in your relationship, your kids were at the formative stage of life where they're early teenagers. And that's a really tough transition for a lot of kids to go through. And then have the dynamics of the family shredded in front of their eyes and they're dealing with all these hormonal things going on within them at the same time. Now, I get that it's hard and I think you've been great to stand back and just be there for your kids, but they're 17 and 19. They're adults, or at least almost adults, and they need to be able to understand that you need to be able to have your life and feel good about who you are because you went through stuff too. Yes, it hurts everybody. Divorce is not a nice thing. Everybody gets scarred from it. The kids, the husband, the wife. Your husband may have moved on, but it doesn't mean that he doesn't have some leftover scarring that's in there too. You need to sit down as a family and have a chat. Your ex-husband needs to be on board with this with you. Now, I don't know, you didn't tell me whether you're in a, a civil relationship with your ex or not, but this is something that I would recommend that you do intervene, get him to intervene with and have a family meeting because you deserve to be happy and you shouldn't have to sit, take a back seat because your kids don't think that you should have love in your life. You can tell them that you're going to be there for them. It's not going to change. You're still going to make them a priority. And if your ex-husband can come in and talk about it too, they see how they fit in. They're okay with his new partner. So why can't they be okay if you bring somebody else into the mix down the road? So I would totally suggest that you have either a meeting with your ex or maybe set them up, all of you, in a counseling session of some sort because it's not fair you deserve to have love again and I would not let my kids dictate that to me at this stage of the game. It'd be different if they were you know five and seven or whatever but they're not. They're adults and they're going to be moving on with their life and you're going to be sitting there with what at the end of the day. So thank you for writing me. That's my suggestion to you. I hope that works out and let me know what happens. I'm really interested to see how the kids react after you have the talk. Thanks everyone. Thanks for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please check out my blog at cybersue.com. Leave a comment under this video, like the video, and please subscribe to my channel. I totally appreciate it. Thanks everyone.